Uh, what's the single, single largest obstacle to commercializing successful research? It's differentiation funding and execution, um, really fast. Um, so what's differentiation? And, and we've, um, Terry, your, your remarks are, are, are really important in this regard. Uh, we've got successful science. We've got world-class successful science. Um, and the tendency, not, not, on, not on David's part and not, I'm sure, on any of your parts, is to, is to look at it within its own context, within a scientific context. It's solving a heretofore unsolved problem. It's solving an extraordinarily difficult scientific problem. It's solving a problem that generations of, of specialists have been unable to solve and, and is therefore extraordinary. There's a tendency, I think, to analogize that into the marketplace, and that's a huge mistake. With all due respect to all of, uh, all of the smarter people than me who have done it, it's a great mistake. Because the next question to ask is with an eye to the market. What practical problem is being solved by the technology? What's being done more successfully, faster, or cheaper? Um, and, and I think from a commercial perspective, and this, this, this puts me, I actually have a little badge that identifies me as a Philistine, but I'd rather have a pretty good solution to a gigantic problem than a really, really great solution to a small problem. And that's not the logic of science. Um, David will disagree with me, I hope, when he, uh, when he has the microphone. Um, so that's the first thing, is differentiation, but differentiation with an eye to the market, with an eye to practical application of this idea, of this successful scientific innovation. Second is funding. Um, and, and funding, um, we all think, and, and Dan, I'm extraordinarily Thank envious you. of your track record. Congratulations, as, 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 as relayed by Keith. It's something quite extraordinary. I think for most of us, um, those days are over. Yeah. Um, go, showing Trust up with you. a great idea and a sensible business plan and a good team um, to venture capital and getting a very big check, the likes of which Dan was able to garner in his past lives. Um, it will happen, and it will happen to an occasional few companies, but plan on it at your peril. Um, funding, and Tim, you weigh in. This is your chance to interrupt. Um, funding going forward is going to be heterogeneous and creative. Um, people who sit in chairs like me are going to have to put pieces together, and Terry, I bet you agree with this. We're, we're very fortunate to have um, about $2 million of equity funding. David may want to talk a little bit about that. David has done an extraordinary job uh, prior to my showing up of attracting public funding, what we call non-dilutive funding to this enterprise. I think we've done a reasonably good job continuing that, and we hopefully are going to do more of that. But it's going to be always about putting those pieces together. As I said before, it's going to be heterogeneous and creative. It's not going to be getting a big check, unfortunately. Um, last thing is execution. Um, execution is everything, of course. You've heard that. Um, you've heard that before. Tim, what's the what's the Irish prayer? Something about um, wise enough to know the difference. So my my definition of what execution, and I haven't used this before, so you forgive me if I stumble. It's uh, dogged enough to stay the course. It's nimble enough to change directions. And it's wise enough to know the difference, and that's the, that's the darn thing about it, is, is, is trying to figure out when, when you're being uh, dogged and determined and when you're being stupid and stubborn, because guess what? You're going to have to change directions about 57 times. Uh, so that's, uh, that's, uh, that's my answer to your simple question, Keith. What's the, uh, what's the single largest obstacle to commercialization?